First Lady Rebecca Akufuado has encouraged women not to allow anything deter them from being who they are. She was speaking to a section of women to mark International Women's Day here in Accra. Girls more than boys are unable to advance beyond SHS as a result of poverty, early marriages, teenage pregnancy, and other socio-cultural factors. Some of the most developed countries like Iceland, Finland, Norway, and Rwanda are countries that have managed to achieve gender parity. This has been possible because of education and ensuring girls as well as boys develop to their full potential. It is in Ghana's interest to ensure both girls and boys develop to their full potential. We must therefore take deliberate steps to do what others have done. We have the policies, we have the laws, we have the knowledge, and we have the tools. It is time to act. Why? Because education makes girls heard. Education allows girls to be seen. It gives them a voice to shape their future. It gives that child the voice to say, no, I should determine who I spend my life with. Today, we have policy makers here to tell us their strategies to ensure the elimination of child marriages and increased retention of girls in school. We also have very well-meaning Ghanaians to give us their perspectives on what ought to be done. Now, I know we will have a great discourse. That is good. We've been having these discourses for years. But remember this, beyond the discourse is a young girl who is not in school. Beyond the discourse is a young girl who dropped out of school because her community does not see the value in educating a girl. Beyond the discourse is a child bride. Beyond the discourse is a pregnant school dropout. So let's talk, but let's come up with action. Each of us must determine to do something to get our girls to go to school and stay in school. Each of us must determine to stop child marriages. Maybe.